that is a very good question. I think it's easy to say that it would be, or I should say, it's nice to say, it would be nice to say that it was a breeze and I didn't have any struggles and I applied and I got into all the top choices that I wanted, which is not the case. Um, actually, I actually struggled to get into medical school. I um, did really, really well in undergrad um, in my political science background. I did really well um, on my post-baccalaureate program as well, but I didn't do very well in the MCAT. So I did struggle to get into medical school. I did get in, actually, the first round, which I'm very fortunate, um, but it wasn't so, so easy that I had every single option available to me. So I think what ended up happening was I really reflected on where my weaknesses were. And for me, um, specifically, it was actually t taking standardized exams, sitting for so many hours, and not thinking that I had to study that type of an approach. And so um, I actually realized, well, maybe I should practice that type of an approach more frequently. And so I did that throughout medical school, was very successful on my step one and step two. And I think really and truly hard work, really, truly hard work, and always, um, I think for me it was a matter of, quite honestly, I felt like I had a lot to make up for all the time. I was surrounded by really smart, smart students who had been doing science for so long, and I hadn't. And so I felt like I needed to work harder to prove myself. And maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I was able to do well in medical school. I think a lot of perseverance. And I think, I think part of it's also knowing what you want. For me, I didn't know I wanted to do medicine until I was a little bit older. And for me, that was really a great way to come into medicine because I knew it's what I wanted. And so when you know it's right for you, you're, you're going to make, you're going to succeed. You're going to make it work. You're going to work harder. Mm -hmm. So I think all of those things combined. And I also think actually my work with the American Medical Student Association really helped me get into medical school, but then also throughout medical school kept me grounded, reminded me why I wanted to be in medicine. Um, and taught me things that my med school could never teach me and most medical schools can't teach. And so I think because of that, I think is the reason um, I'm going on to residency and, and hopefully <laughs> will become a successful clinician in the future.